Hey guys, how you doing? It's Pinnacle. So we're going to have a quick look about how to create thumbnails as I've had a request if I can make a quick video on it. So first thing we're going to do is we want to choose an appropriate background. I've downloaded one of an island background. Uh, no reason, just thought it was a basic one. We'll just download it. So you save that to a certain location and you go into the directory where you've saved it and you want to open that up in your editing software. I use Cyber, uh, Cyberlink uh, Photo Editor 8 which I got with my um, Power Director package. So you're going to open it up in there, then you're going to move over to your layers and you're going to start putting your layers on top of it. Now, you've got to think about what do you want? What is your video representing? What do you want to put in there? And what are you going to you know, stick on top of that to make it look like the content of the video? So we're going to do a video, let's call it Sniper Paradise, because we've got a nice picture of an island. So first of all, we want people to know it's Battlegrounds. We're going to put a Battlegrounds logo on there. Uh, what am I doing here? I want to zoom back out. Here we go. And I want to, what is happening? Here we go. So I'm going to put a little Battlegrounds logo down the bottom. Now this is a transparent logo, which I found on the internet. So I've just grabbed it from the internet. Simple as that. Uh, the next thing we want to do is, what do we want to do? We're calling it Sniper Paradise. So we want to put a sniper. Do we have any snipers that will fit with this setting? I've got a couple, but... Um, you know what I'm going to be looking for? I'm going to be looking for a first person kind of uh, view, I think. So let's have a look through. See what we've got here. Okay, any of these? Mm, now, what ideally we want to do is we want to make a transparent background. We want to find a transparent background. Now, when I say transparent background, it basically means that when you click on the picture and you have a look at it, you'll see all these checkers in the background here. This basically means that it's transparent. It means you won't see the white when you import it. You'll only see the, the, the front. All right, now some of these are quite nice. It was first person sniper views. Maybe something like this. Um, maybe this one with a ghillie suit. Yeah, okay. I think this is the one. We'll take this one. Okay, so we save that in as a picture into now you have to keep it as a PNG file. If you put it as a JPEG, then the background will not be transparent anymore. Just a word of warning there. So then you go back in, you open your file file location where you saved the picture, and we can find it. Where is it? That one there, we drag it on. And we say, okay, let's downsize it a bit. Hmm. That works, but let's make it a little bit bigger. Now, you can see these are layers, they overlap each other. If you wanted the Battlegrounds logo to overlap the picture, you would just get it from here and you would drag it up like that. And you would drag it above the picture so that the Battlegrounds logo is no longer behind the picture. Now, we don't want this to stick out that much. We're gonna turn the um, opacity down a little bit so you could it's semi-see-through, that's what we want. The sniper rifle, we want to keep that 100% because that's the foreground picture. Now, this is very simple. You can put as many layers as you want on there, but all we're going to do now is we're going to put a bit of text on there, and we're going to call it uh, Sniper Paradise. Let's type this in. There we go. Now, we're going to put a carriage return. I always find that when they're in italics, it's hard to see where the cursor is. There we go. Uh, put a couple of spaces and make this bigger. 200 maybe yeah 200 is about right okay um and then we can move this to where we want it we can extend that out to there and we can put some spaces in front just to separate a little bit now we could keep it this color we could change the font we could change the shadow uh, but i would say stick with the same kind of font the same shadow and the same um colors if you can on most of your pictures. I mean, a lot of mine is the yellow and the red, the basic colors, but see this orange, this doesn't really go, does it? It kind of sticks out like I saw fun. Maybe we just do a slightly darker yellow. Let's try that. So we go here and we go down a little bit. There we go. Now, the word sniper seems to be sticking out a bit more as well. So let's turn again, to make it a little bit more transparent so it doesn't jump out in your face. That's good. And there you go, that'll do. So this is a basic idea of what you can do when you're making thumbnails. Now, what we're going to do here. So let's think about what else we want to do. We can push that over that side. We can move the 
sniper to the other side so that the the there's not too much yellow down one side of the screen if you know what I mean so that kind of works right now what else do we need we, we could do anything else to this we could put a border around it even so if we want to put a border let's see if we've got any homemade borders it, there's a home border already here so what you do is you stretch this to make sure it suit, uh, fits the screen now that way and out that way now sometimes these can be a bit tricky because the layers behind the border it's hard to grab them like exactly like this so I'm trying to grab the battle uh, player unknown battlegrounds and I'm trying to move that up a little bit so you can actually read it but it's proving to be a bit difficult let's just get this to right size again so I want to select that but it keeps moving the damn foreground so what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to move this out of the way move that to where we want it and then move that back bit of a pain but there you go I'm sure there's a way of you control click or I don't know I'm sure there's a way to do it without all this moving around but anyway this is just a rough one I mean it's, it's taken what five minutes if that to uh, to make this now you can save it as the file format that your photo editor is suggesting that means you can then go back in and change it when you want but if you're finished you save it as a JPEG or BMP whatever you want to save it as yeah and you save that to your directory next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna say okay let's go into your YouTube channel your video is just uploaded uh, you're still in private you're waiting to put a thumbnail on it you go to your creator studios and you say edit the video that's just uploaded and then you can go in there and at the bottom picture here there's usually a button here if you haven't got a thumbnail already but here uh, you can just change the custom thumbnail already click there find the video that's not, that's my personal pictures you don't want to see them uh, and uh, here we go somewhere here right um, where is it there it is that one there and then we can say open that load it up and then that's the thumbnail that people will see so hopefully this is helpful any questions drop them in the link below